If you run Google Ads performance max campaigns and you've noticed a huge dip in performance over the last two to three weeks, you're definitely not alone. Dozens of advertisers, including most of the clients that we work with, have seen the same trend. We've seen increases in spend and declines in revenue. It's a huge no-no, especially when nine out of 10 advertisers are running performance max campaigns. Once we noticed this trend, we called what we call an emergency meeting. An emergency meeting is basically when we have everyone jump on the line, all of our brands, all of our clients, and then even a second emergency meeting, which is what you're gonna be able to watch today for not our brands, but anyone who's interacting within the community. We talked about the exact problem that we're seeing and then all the solutions that we're proposing. We walked through a few strategies, take a couple questions. So if this has happened to you, I highly advise watching the full thing. Enjoy. We just saw huge changes to Performance Max over the last roughly two weeks, but really acutely over the last 48 hours or so here. And I'm sure if everyone's on this call, you guys are seeing very, very similar things right now. Basically, the scenario that we are seeing, we have accounts that have been running Performance Max for literally years are out of nowhere dropping. Everything started around July 25th. At some point during the day, looked like a few accounts just had a bad day. We didn't think too much of it. It was just like a normal fluctuation, not something you really want to shake a stick at. A couple days went by, started to really reevaluate what was going on. The weirdest part right now is this is mostly happening to big accounts that we're running that have been running Performance Max for a long time and have not had big changes. Started to double in spend. So it was set for a budget of like three to $500, started spending 600, 700 a day and received less conversions. So right here, this is the Performance Max campaign that we've been running over the last 30 days. This is a medium sized brand that we're working with. In this case, over the last 30 days, we only spent eight grand on this Performance Max campaign to drive 23. You can see our clicks, which is gonna be an indication of spend for no reason rise. And this is what I'm expecting a lot of people to see here. When we look at the view explanations here, which is supposed to be like Google's AI of essentially telling us like what's going on, what changed, what happened. There's no explanation in here that actually shows us what is fundamentally changed here. And you can see here, explanations found for conversion value fluctuations, search interest, top changed segments. We did not launch any new segments. We did not launch any new asset groups. There's no way all of a sudden in the last two weeks, the vitamins and supplements have completely gone away. And also all of this brand's other marketing channels, so everything that we do on the Facebook side for them and other have maintained complete status quo. We've just seen this huge rise in costs. I'm gonna show you all conversion value here because this is where things are obviously a bit more concerning. As cost has risen, conversion value has dropped in this period. In this quick period, the very first thing, my gut reaction was data exclusion in Google Ads, which is quite advanced. And then second, just reduce budget, inflate the target return on ad spend a little bit, just make the environment that Google needs to hit a little bit harder. I knew that that would push us into the learning phase a little bit, which we could see as indicated here. And then there's a couple of changes. That was my first gut. That was the easiest thing that I thought we could do. Then we saw a few things happen. We saw this happen on a couple other accounts. We saw this morning, Google Ads individual accounts not be accessible. There was a 500 server error for seemingly no reason. Similar to four or five months ago, we had these situations where Facebook had changed the algorithm, a variety of changes. We saw overspending a few times where budgets were spent in full or two or three times over. So many changes in strategies. And then it kind of just summed itself up. It fixed itself. But if you just let your ads run during those periods, you wasted a ton of ad spend, lost a lot of conversion value, and your competitors ultimately that made significant changes that tried to outflank everyone did better. What we're rolling out as a safety net, it's a band-aid. I want to be really clear on this. It is a band-aid. This is not our long-term strategy here. This is just a way for us to get through this turbulent period. And then when we see Performance Max start to recover again, we will then re-roll out Performance Max. We are rolling out standard shopping campaigns, which are going to cover the basis of all Performance Max shopping. We're rolling out branded search. And in some cases, depending on what the volume is of Performance Max, we're running non-brand search campaigns as well. We're not going to go down the rabbit hole of discovery or display, mostly because first off, we usually don't actually see highest returns on discovery and display. And second, running discovery and display segmented out from everything is going to be a very hard budget equation to only allocate five or 10% of the budget. We want to cover what drives 80% of the revenue, which for most brands is going to be standard shopping, branded search, and sometimes non-brand search. Our standard shopping campaigns are going to be allowed to target everyone. We're not touching new customer only. We're not doing any fancy settings. Definitely make sure like your location settings are set up properly. Use your best performing products. Don't go over the top here. The second campaign, the branded search campaign that we're going to want to run, I highly, highly recommend you run this only on exact match and phrase match. If you run this on broad, you're going to get crushed by terms that are similar to yours that aren't actually your brand terms. So in all of these cases, we're just going to want to run brand terms. If
If your brand name is Nike, run Nike Exact, run Phrase around the Nike. And then if you have sub brands associated to your brand, so we'll use like Jordan for Nike, you run Jordan Exact Match and then Jordan Phrase Match. The only other piece to the brand search side that you definitely want to run is a target impression share. So we're going to have that standard shopping campaign that I already mentioned in that brand and search campaign. It's going to be set up in a way that it is only target impression share when we set it and exact match and phrase match only. And then if and only if you look into your performance max insights and you see non-branded search is something that drives a lot of revenue for you, 30% plus of the revenue from Pmax, you could launch a non-brand search campaign. In the non-brand search campaign, you want to mix broad match and exact match, no phrase match. Hopefully we bring these back and we get to run performance max as quick as possible because from what we've seen, it's the best performing campaign nearly across all of Google. I will definitely keep people posted when we start to see these fixes in place. And if we definitely see any communication from Google, first off, I expect to see communication from Google about this because this is really rare for their flagship product to experience kind of such a, a wild run. I do want to offer up any questions, anyone that this is happening to, raise your hand in some way here and I'll uh, unmute you and give you a shout. When you're talking about these temporary solutions uh, pulling out, you know, for brand searching, for standard shopping, for not brand search, to confirm, are you normally not running brand search? Or are you keeping that as part of your? Or Pmax as a standard setup? Yeah, a lot of the times we are running branded search. The smaller account that I showed you, this is an account that was relying on Performance Max because its branded search was so small. So we were actually comfortable not running branded search there. If you're already running a brand search campaign and a standard shopping campaign, and you don't have exclusions on that standard shopping campaign, the easiest thing you can do is just reduce the Pmax heavily and shift cash into brand search and non-brand or the standard shopping campaign. As long as cash gets shifted out of Performance Max to the location that normally return the highest for you. That's what I think is going to do the best. Donnie, I see you on a video here. You have a question I can help answer? Yeah, no, we canceled Pro Max about three months ago because they were showing massive amounts of clicks for directions and calls. I own seven retail stores and we are very high ticket, but we're low traffic. And they were showing 21, 25,000 people clicking for directions. Literally impossible. We just canceled the whole thing. We've backed off all of our AdWords now because I'm not comfortable that any of the data I'm getting is correct. And we actually contacted them. They ghosted us. Sometimes these guys don't know. I hate to be that guy. Sometimes these Google reps, they don't know the intricacies of what's happening. Carlos, who's on video here, is also on our team. He's one of our growth directors. And Carlos, I know you just dealt with a like conversion actions issue with one of the clients you're working with. If you could chime in and drop in a solution for this thing, that'd be cool. Yeah, Donnie, I think the biggest thing there, it doesn't surprise me that you're getting thousands of actions that Google's reporting on that are saying are valuable to you when you're saying, hey, there's no revenue tied there. The biggest thing that you have to train Google to do is optimize events that are meaningful to you, whether it be a purchase or a phone call or a lead. And so it might just be a case where clients are optimizing and telling on the back end of the settings of the Pmax campaign that, hey, this is our goal. And so included in there, sure, it's like purchases or phone calls, leads, whatever, but also it's directions and button clicks. And then Google gets it's really good at doing those and finding people who like to click on things but never become revenue. And so it could be a very minor issue. To Sam's point, I feel like if you fix those and got a true baseline of Pmax, I'd be very interested to see what the actual potential of that campaign is as an evergreen part of your strategy. Brandon, I see you raise your hand here. I also see your comment in the chat and you said, if you're brick and mortar reselling only, you might recommend against Pmax, primarily effective for e-commerce. I do agree with you here. I don't actually want to speak too much for brick and mortar. Over here at the Moonlighters, we go e-com only. Performance Max feels like an e-commerce tool more than anything. How much of this can be bad economic news over the last two weeks? Instead of Google, maybe it's consumer side. That's actually one of the first things that I thought about, especially this Monday. So the last six days now have been really, really rough in the US for basically the entire market. It's been the worst stretch in a long time. One of my conclusions here was like bad market, elections coming up, elections inflating the market. There's a whole lot going Going on in this moment that could be absolutely hurting things. The only thing that doesn't make sense here is Google's performance max is acting like there's more demand, not acting like there's less demand. If we just saw spend stay the same or go down and conversion rates go down and conversion value go down, then I would think that's 1000% correct. But when we look at it so clearly by almost overnight, we see this shift. I don't want to say it's impossible, but it feels a little far-fetched only because it was so sudden it's working in the 
opposite where it thinks there's more demand when there's not. We have since I set Pmax to new customer only and added shopping, my performance is much better and seeing increased revenue. I hope you got that from one of our videos. That is what we always want to push. We always want to get to the point where performance max is new customer only with a brand exclusion and add that shopping campaign. Usually we launch those campaigns, give them a week up to learn, two weeks to learn. And then when we compare period over period or two weeks versus the two weeks where we're running on the other strategy, almost all the time, the overall return works better because you now have a campaign that has solely focused on one objective, doesn't have to worry about retargeting, doesn't have to worry about retention and returning customers and so on. And then you have another campaign that's purely focused on just driving existing customers to repurchase again. Some of the last things I heard you saying, you're normally running a standard shopping alongside Pmax. Is that what I'm hearing? That's correct. Now, it's been my experience that the search terms on standard shopping have been broadened so dramatically over the last even like a couple of years, it's been really, really difficult. How are you really optimizing that standard shopping when you're running it alongside Pmax? What we want to get to, now this is assuming performance max fixes. What we want to get to is we want this standard shopping campaign to be a brand only shopping campaign. Now you mm -hmm. can't technically do that, but how you do that is you set these to new customer only. What's going to happen here is at first, when you set this to whatever target row as you set it to, it's going to be wide. It's going to go shoes, white shoes, red shoes, orange shoes. Eventually, you set your return on ad spend so high, the only thing that can convert that high is your branded terms. So it will repeatedly smash your branded terms here, have an extremely high conversion rate. Your ad relevance scores will be through the roof. You'll beat out all your competitors because it's only trying to do one thing. And you don't have to worry about retargeting. You don't have to worry about new customer acquisition with this because that's all completely handled by Performance Max. The machine is smarter than us, but we still need to set constraints because when we give everything to the machine and say, go spend our money and get us as much back as possible, it's going to look at everything available to it and it's going to try to squeeze out of everything. If we bucket properly, which is all structures are, are just bucketing things into appropriate places and we allocate budget to the most appropriate place based on things that only you can know, Google won't know the exact customer term that is most relevant for your customer. It might know what converts the best, but it might not know what is yours uniquely. So that's why we like to break out just standard shopping. I hope that helped. I appreciate everyone hopping on here. Great questions. And then if anyone has more questions, absolutely hit us up over email. Uh, that's it. If there's ever another emergency, I'll let you all know.